Mike Fisher reporting from the Star in Frisco, Cowboys headquarters, where it's a little cold outside. So uh, I'm finding the comfort in here uh, to talk uh, about Jalen Smith and a guy that's become very much a, uh, a whipping post, if you will, uh, a, uh, a tackling dummy for the public. How much of it is deserved? Uh, how much of it is about the money? How much of it can be fixed? Uh, let, let's start with Jalen Smith, the person. Um, and I've gotten to know him very well. And, and I've said this from the start. It's been, we're working on four years now, right? If I was going to start a business, uh, Jalen Smith, I, I would hire him to be my CEO. If I was going to start a church, I want Jalen Smith to be the deacon. Uh, if I had a daughter, uh, Jalen Smith can date her. Uh, he, he's, he's just the highest quality uh, of a person. You, you want him on your team in wh whatever, whatever endeavor you're involved in. But do you want to pay him $10 million a year? And that's why his name comes up all the time. There's other guys on the Cowboys defense that have played uh, with just as many ups and downs, just as poorly or whatever, as Jalen Smith has but they're not making $10 million a year. Um, the, the controversy, if you will, is exacerbated uh, by two issues. One of them is Jalen. Uh, he, he is so um, rosy all the time. He's so sunshiny all the time. Uh, he really believes the mantras that he, uh, that he expresses and I know that sometimes, um, if you're if you're viewing it, you you, it seems almost robotic. His positivity seems almost robotic. But I'm here to tell you, it's real. Uh, it, it's really the way he views the world. Um, it includes the swipe, which I know that you hate, especially when he makes a tackle. You look at the scoreboard. The Cowboys are losing 38 to six, and he's somehow celebrating his tackle. And of course, as Jalen has explained it, his swipe is, is a celebration of life. It has nothing to do with the score. But that doesn't mean you have to like it. That doesn't mean you have to buy it. Um, it is unusual. It is, it, it's, an, it's unusual to celebrate life when you make a tackle when you're losing 38 to 6. Uh, he's aware of that, and uh, he, he's comfortable with what he does. So that's one reason. Um, that there's kind of a, you know, bring it on himself. The other one, of course, is Cowboys management. And Jerry, the other day, Mr. Jones, uh, on 105.3 The Fan, saying, and again, you know, well, listen, it's been 30 years. You understand the the Jerry hyperbole. It's not enough that Jerry would just say, hey, we, we think Jalen's a good player, and we want him to get better. That's That's not how Jerry does it. Jerry says it's a home run. The whole thing was a home run. And then Mr. Jones goes into kind of a long explanation about the whole thing. And the problem is that my guys on the fan didn't ask Jerry about the whole thing. They asked him about the contract. They asked him about a contract that pays Jalen $10 million a year. And then Jerry's answer was, boy, we had him as a first round value. And boy, we have, we're really happy where we picked him. And boy, howdy, what a great success story he is with the knee recovery. And by the way, again, as I've said before, that is a scientific and spiritual miracle. Because there are a lot of people who didn't think he was gonna ever like walk right again, including doctors representing NFL teams. Some teams, as you know, didn't even have him on their board. And then Jerry will bring up Jalen's quality as a person too. But Jerry, that wasn't the question. The question is about basically whether you have regrets over signing Jalen to a contract that at the time, and pretty close still, made him the third highest paid linebacker in NFL history. For Jalen to be living up to that contract, he would have to be playing like one of the three best linebackers in football. And that's and he's not. We, we can we can have a debate. Hey, what about that great play made? Hey, what about looking lost over on that play? Whatever your perspective is, we can all agree. 
He's not one of the three best linebackers in football. So how do we get beyond the Jerry hype? And how do we make sense of what to do with Jalen going forward? Uh, some guy who shall remain nameless says, I, I, I think they're going to cut. I, I've, sources say they might cut him. I haven't found that source. And so I don't mean to be disrespectful to the, uh, oh, okay, I do a little bit, uh, to the guy claiming he has a source saying that, that Jerry Jones is discussing cutting because that's who would have to be discussing it. You, you, can't, you can't be talking to some, you know, assistant offensive line coach. I'm thinking of cutting you. You don't get to cut Jalen Smith. Jerry does. And I just told you what Jerry says, that he thinks it's a home run, the whole thing. And that he does not regret the contract. Now, again, Jerry can be saying that just because he 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 wants to endorse what he's done and doesn't want to admit any negativity about it. But when I see somebody saying, I've got a source that said the Cowboys are thinking of cutting him, I've just got to look straight to the cap guys. My cap guys, including guys inside this building. To cut Jalen Smith and have him not be on your football team in 2021 would cost you $9 million. You would be paying the cap $9 million to have him not play. Now, you can make it a June 1st cut and spread the $9 million over two years, but it's still $9 million. So ask yourself why you're, why you're kicking that whipping post and why you're griping about the swiping. Is Jalen Smith so bad that you want him off your football team but still want to pay $9 million for it? That's ridiculous. So let's think about, instead, instead of thinking about how you can cut him, and again, you 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 don't pay him $9 million if you cut him. He's already paid. He's got his big guaranteed money, all that. You pay the cap. So you'd be $9 million in the hole and then have to go buy a replacement player for him. And if that replacement player costs you $5 million, now you're $14 million in the hole. Might be better to just stick with the $10 million linebacker and admit to ourselves, and, and the Joneses can admit this privately if they want to, and we probably, we, we probably overshot that one. We paid him for what he thought he was going to become, and that hasn't quite happened yet. We also paid him for his qualities as a person and all that, uh, and, and those things are happening. But they paid Jalen thinking, okay, he's not the third best linebacker in football now, but he's going to be. So we're going to pay him that way. And they miscalculated. That's okay. That happens. So now what do you really do going forward? Can you get a $9 million, $10 million player out of him? Maybe that's not real. Can you put Jalen in position to succeed? That's real. The, the times when Jalen Smith gets in trouble is when he has to drop into coverage. And by the way, he plays like 98% of the snaps or something. I mean, he's on the field all the time. Uh, that that's probably got to change. You're asking too much of him. He's not he's not versatile enough to be on the field 98% of the time. That's you know that's that's your like your best defensive your best cornerback is on the field 98% of the time. You just can't take him off the field. That's not Jalen. They're asking too much of him. Put Jalen in a position to succeed. This will probably have to happen next year. It'll have to happen with the acquisition of another linebacker. Uh, or the elevation of Joe Thomas or the elevation of Sean Lee. Let Jalen Smith be a downhill defender, not backpedaling into coverage. Let him attack. Let him rush the passer. If you're going to play in a 3-4, sometimes, and they do, let him be a 3-4 outside linebacker who just rushes the passer. And, and will, will he be a $10 million pass rusher? I don't know about that. But will he add value? Absolutely he will. So this scheme is asking too much of him. The Joneses expected too much of him. Um, in the world of being overpaid, by the way, as you know, uh, pro football player risking his life. You know my view. Pro football player risking his life. Get it all. Get all you can. Get all you can. You deserve it. Uh, you you are putting your life on the line every Sunday for my amusement. So I don't have any problem with your salary ever, never. But I know that the public is going, you know, in a salary cap world, you know, you only have so many resources. 
uh, to give to so many guys. But this resource is spent. This is this is nine, ten million dollars spent. You can't unspend it. Not really. And so the better thing to do is accept. All right, you know, I wish he was a five million dollar linebacker. I wish we were paying him five. If you were paying Jalen Smith five, half the complaints would go away. Because be going, well, you know, he's he's playing like a five million dollar linebacker, ups and downs. But you're paying him ten, so you're thinking he's supposed to be Ray Lewis, Dick Butkus, all rolled into one, and he's not. He gets paid that way, but and that's not his fault. But he's not that player. He's a great person. And he's an NFL starting caliber linebacker. You know, if he did leave here somewhere, somehow, he'd go someplace else and start. But maybe they'd use him better and use him more wisely and use him a little less. So cutting Jalen Smith doesn't make much sense, according to my big calculator. Putting him in a place where he can help you win by you putting him in a place where he can win, that's the answer for Jalen Smith. It's not a home run. It's not a foul ball. But it can be a very expensive, I don't know, you know, ground rule double. Fish in Frisco, out.